Yup. It's slick. All right. Let's go. Ladies and gents, this is something special. I think this is the gem of this area. I truly do. This is absolutely spectacular. Look, you got the, let me spin around here. <clears throat> you got the seepage coming out of the wall. I mean, that's rock. That's all rock right there. And it's just seeping right out of there from the ground. Ground water just coming right out. Now, you may have noticed that I'm not in my yellow kayak. And there is a reason for that. <clears throat> this is actually my, my eldest daughter's kayak. <clears throat> it's a uh, Sun Dolphin Phoenix 10.4. So, basically, it's 10.4 feet. <clears throat> and this is a pretty technical paddle and there's some shallow parts and like I said there's some portages this is going to be a much easier boat to get around through here so <clears throat> you know sometimes you just got to make it easier on yourself and this is a a pretty comfortable boat too it's got a really great seat so I'm definitely uh, definitely happy to be in it for sure for sure but anyhow, just just look at this. This is just beautiful. And I've got the whole thing to myself. Look at this.
come on, this is so, this is so awesome. Oh, my boat's trying to float away. Stay on here. There we go. Stay in the shot, stay in the shot. Man, if it was summer, I'd be all up in these pools right here. It's kind of chilly. I'm telling you. I'm in love. All right. Let's keep moving. So I've had to be cre uh, pretty creative with how I do the camera. I bought a little tripod before I left uh, Panama City and it's coming in handy quite a bit. Um, you know, I can get real stable video shots and pictures even, but uh, it also stands up pretty, pretty well inside the cockpit of this ca uh, kayak, I almost said cabinet. I feel like I'm riding down the creek in a cabinet, but anyway. So, if any of these shots like this one here where uh, I'm talking to you guys are, are really close up, I apologize for that. I could lean back a little bit, but then I might be out of frame, so. But uh, I've had to get a little creative, but this tripod's really cool. It's like 20 bucks. Um, I mean, it's, it's not the most sturdy thing, and I'm pretty tough on stuff, so we'll see how long it lasts. But, uh, so yeah. Just bear with me through this, through all this here, because I don't have my usual camera set up. Oh, 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 we got a little squiggly bit. There we go. Come up around this way. Whip it around this corner here. These smaller boats are so maneuverable. They're so maneuverable. They're not as fast as my touring boat. Uh, they don't have near the storage or dry hatches. But for little trips like this down these tight little technical creeks, you couldn't ask for anything better. Uh-oh, uh-oh, low hanging, low hanging, low hanging, don't hit the camera. Ooh. <laughs> this, this, is, this is the stuff I love. I love these kinds of little creeks like this, these little offshoots. Big rivers are great if you want to get somewhere. If you want to have a fun time, though, and you want to really enjoy paddling your kayak or, or paddleboard or whatever kind of craft you use I mean these are the places to go these are the places to go they're tight they're technical there's low hanging limbs you gotta dodge there's you know log jams I know there's gonna be a couple of those coming up this is this is my element right here completely it's just wild it's good stuff I'm going to say that a lot on this video. Good stuff.
this. Let's check out this washout. Let me get up to beaching speed. Crash. Make sure this boat doesn't float away. Look at this. I bet I could walk this for a ways. Let's go check it out. Let's check this thing out. It's cold, so I'm not too worried about snakes. Spiders, maybe. I'm not so worried about snakes. I hear a waterfall. Oh my god, it keeps going. It keeps going. This is this is so fantastic. This is awesome. I don't know how much farther I need to go back here because I mean this just goes and goes. I mean I got all day. I don't have any kind of time schedule. But look at this gully that I'm in. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I see a good spot up here to come up to there's a really cool waterfall right there look at that Let's go up underneath this vine I feel like I'm right up in the camera's face right now, but you can't tell me that was not cool right there. That 
that gully washout. Oh my god, that was carved through bedrock. So that took, I don't want to say years, we're talking hundreds of years to carve that thing out through that solid rock. I mean, we just took a passage through time. We just time traveled. Bet you never thought you could time travel on a YouTube video. <clears throat> we just did. We just time traveled. Man, this place doesn't stop amazing me. Double bridges right outside of Geneva, Alabama. If you get the chance, <clears throat> oh, look at this, the current's whipping me around. If you get the chance, definitely come and check this one out. If you're into kayaking, paddle boarding, or anything like that, any small, non-motorized watercraft, this is, this is the place to be with it, <clears throat> if you can get to it. I've been on some pretty cool things. So far this, this takes the cake as far as small creeks go. <laughs> it's just awesome. <laughs> Look, here's another one. Look at that, knock the camera right over. And there is a nice waterfall back in there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it, here we go. Gets a little dark back there. I'm not going to mess around back in that one though. I have a feeling there's a lot of those. Oh. Let me whip this thing around. <laughs> I forgot how easy it was to paddle a small kayak. And turn on a dime. Whew, that sunlight. Alright. Keep going. My first log jam, but I think I might see a way to get through. Let me drop this camera down though. This could get this could get a little hairy. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> All right, we can do this. This ain't gonna be too bad, but this is definitely jungly. Boy, I'm gonna come out of here with a spider in my boat somewhere.
Look at this. <laughs> I would not be doing this. Oops, get back here. I would not be doing this part in that 16 footer, I'll tell you that much. <clears throat> let's take let's let's spin around and take a look see what I just came through. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, thought I had a spider on my leg. There we go. That was pretty cool. That's the kind of stuff that I do like. I really do like that. Obstacles, places to walk back into and explore. I just can't, I, I just can't with this place. <laughs> it's so awesome. This is why I do it, y'all. This is why I videotape, too. So you guys can see what's out there, the wonders that you can come across if you just do it, you know? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to... You know, you see something and then you're like, hey, what is that? Where does that go? What can I do there? Find out. Oh, see? Oh, hit a log. <laughs> I saw that one too. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was a little lower in the water than that. This is, this is why I do this. You know? Get out of your town. Get out of the city. Get out of, you know, paved roads. Find a dirt road and, you know, follow it. See where it goes. Find out. I think this is a good spot here to stop for lunch. I haven't eaten yet. I haven't eaten breakfast or anything. All I've had is a cup of coffee. Uh, it's 9.45. I've barely been on here an hour. And uh, I think I see a really nice place to stop, maybe. I don't know. What do y'all think? It's a little steep. <clears throat> I think I'm going to keep going. I'm not that hungry. We're going to keep going. I just don't want to stop. This could be tricky. <laughs> yeah, this one's tricky. <laughs> All right, let me get this paddle out of here. All right. Easy peasy, actually. Nice little slide over a log. The camera fell down a little bit. But So far, I haven't had to get out, <clears throat> which I'll be honest, I'm a little happy about. The water's cold and a little murky. I'd say that looks like a good place for lunch, or breakfast, or brunch, whatever we want to call it. Let's uh, let's brunch on the banks of the double bridges. Can I even pull off here? Oh yeah, I see a good spot. 
I'm gonna grab this Eddie. Come here, Eddie. I think this is as good a spot as Eddie. Okay, it's enough of that. We're gonna have some. Uh, we're gonna have some sandwiches. I say sandwiches because I'm probably gonna eat too. That should keep me going for the rest of the trip. It's a pretty cool little spot though. Let's get out. You know, the thing I like about that tripod that uh, that you guys are sitting on right now, I'm gonna say you guys, so I'm talking to y'all, talking to you, right there, you, yep, watching this video, is I'm on this, you know, kind of steep bank, and it's got the legs, I can adjust those legs so it sits there straight. This thing is a... Uh, becoming quite a friend of mine. But like I said, it's nothing fancy. I uh, got it at Walmart. I think it's whatever that brand that you see in there called On or Own or O-N-N, whatever they are. It's one of those. And uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. The only thing I wish I did have right now is a you know, kind of a prep table. I <laughs> got nothing but a Nothing but sand to try and make some sandwiches on. C'est la vie. So, I just got me some Oscar Mayer sandwich kit with ham and salami. And I'll tell you, I've noticed those are the ones that are actually hard to find. They always have ham and turkey. I'm not a big fan of turkey. I don't, I, honestly, I don't even really like turkey on Thanksgiving. I don't know. I'd rather eat ham or you know some roast beef. I don't know what it is about turkey. I just don't really like it. I won't turn it down if somebody offers it to me, but I might not be the first one to say I want to make some turkey for Thanksgiving. And uh, using hot dog buns for my bread. Partially because <clears throat> I brought some bratwurst with me to cook over the grill and you know, for my hot food. And I was like, well, <clears throat> I got it. You got to have a hot dog bun with a bratwurst. You can't, you know, really put that on a slice of bread. So why bring a loaf of bread and a bag of hot dog buns? Just because normally you put sandwich on sandwich bread. Eh. <clears throat> This is, this is just gorgeous. Now you can see, you can tell behind me, I mean, yes, this creek was flooded. Uh, you can, I mean, the water line is still, good Lord, another almost 20 feet above me. So this thing was, was really flooded bad. But uh, it's navigable now. They almost weren't going to do any shuttling to this. Oh, and by the way, hmm, shout out to Dale with uh, Southern Paddle Guides. I hope I'm saying that right. He's been the main shuttle for this uh, for this festival, and 
<clears throat> you know, the, the poor guy just doesn't get a break because people want to go places. He's got to get them there. So much respect to him for putting up with us, for one, you know, coming at him all the time. Hey, can you take me here? Hey, when are we going to go there? And, you know, myself included. <laughs> but, uh, so that's how, you know, that's how we get around these things a lot. He's, 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 a, he's a cool fella. He's a great guy, too. But, um, this trip winds up back at the Rockadoc camp in Richard... Fowler, is it Richard or Robert? I keep forgetting the name, and that's horrible too, because he's a vet. The park's name, the park's, you know, named after him. He's a veteran, Vietnam War. But uh, it comes back to that park. I'm gonna wind up catching the Choctahatchee, so this uh, this little creek's gonna flow right into the Choctahatchee for me. And a little while ago, I was sitting there and I was thinking, I was like, you know, I was talking about just getting out and driving and going, you know, what's that, where's that road go, or what does this do, you know, or where's that, if you're into getting on the water like this, you know, where's that little creek go, how do I get to it, and, and how do I get out of it? I started thinking about, I see rivers, actual rivers as like the interstates, you know, and these little creeks right here are like the backcountry roads, you know, they're those windy dirt roads that you see from the side of the highway. And I think that's probably, I think that's partly why I like them so much. Because you're not on a main highway just kinda, you know, cruising through an area. You're actually in the area and you have to, you're, you're part of it, you know. This is, I think the scenery's better on little creeks like this. I think it's more of an experience. Hold on, I'm gonna go rinse this off real quick. Be right back. Don't go nowhere. But yeah, I think the I think the scenery's better. It's just uh it's just a much more enjoyable experience, I think. And I mean I like rivers, don't get me wrong, I do like rivers. Um, they're definitely good if, if you're trying to get somewhere, you know. Um, but if you just want to have a nice, scenic, lazy trip that uh, has a lot to offer, I definitely recommend these little these little creeks like this. They have so much more character, you know. It's not. I just like them, plain and simple. I'm gonna eat lunch. I'm yapping too much. Once I get this sandwich down, we're headed back down the creek. I love this place. Just to give you an idea of just how high this was. Hold on, let me spin around here. All right, just to give you an idea about of how high this was. That log up there is about 25, it's probably about 25 feet above me. So you can imagine in this, uh, ooh, look at this one, look at this one. That log right there. I mean, he's suspended in midair. That doesn't just happen by deadfall. And that right there, you can see that tree. I mean, look at the way it's just bent. And it's just going, you can tell the, the flow was going that way. There was a lot of water come through here, y'all. Hurricane Sally wasn't a wind event. That wasn't a windy hurricane. That was a rain event. And it swole these rivers right up. And I'm heading for a down tree, so let me paddle. <laughs> so with this clip here, I was using my small little 
GoPro clone camera, uh, which has a touch screen on the back. It's a 4K, you know, it, it really isn't a bad camera. Um, somehow, at some point, I must have bumped something. Uh, the camera was not recording audio. I've got a lot of footage from Double Bridges Creek using this camera, and there's just absolutely no audio. But I wanted to add this clip in for sure, because this is where I almost died. <laughs> Not quite literally, but it got hairy for a second. So I was paddling along, and I came across all this right here. You can see me pointing. And if you follow my finger, the channel goes through, and then there's a quick little turn, and you can come out the other side. At least I thought. But I got hung up on the log, right? Let's see if I point to it again. I got hung up on a log, broadsided, right about there. Nope, nope, point my finger right there, right there where my finger's pointing. I got hung up on that log there, broadside. Uh, it was moving pretty quick. Uh, the cam or the camera, the kayak tipped uh, to the right. The log was on my left. Um, I felt water. <clears throat> I felt water come into the kayak. Uh, my shorts got wet. Um, I immediately had to like hip snap myself back right, and. I was able to get myself, you know, through it, finally. But um, I had to stop where I'm at right now and get out, um, kind of brush myself off, gather my wits back to me. Um, behind me, I, th I think I turn around here at some point, behind me is my kayak sitting on the sand and all of my gear is out. Um, on the bank as well to dry. Uh, it took me a good maybe 20, 30 minutes to get uh, to make sure everything was okay, my electronics and things like that. Uh, it took me a little while to to really get everything back together. I'll tell you that that was probably one of the scariest moments, honestly, scariest moments I think I've ever had in a kayak. Um, I thought I, you know, if I would have flipped, I could have gotten pinned under the water, under that big log right there that went out, and I could have been stuck right there in center screen. Now, I'm a strong swimmer. Um, I can hold my breath underwater motionless for about 2 minutes and 15 seconds, uh, swimming for about a minute and a half. So I think I would have been able to get out of there in about 45 seconds, and I don't think I would have drowned. But the danger was real. I'll tell you, and this wasn't the only peril that I faced on this trip. There was also a, a portage earlier on the trip that uh, I didn't actually get on camera, um, you know, even a portion of it, where... I was pulling my kayak up over a log, and in the meantime, my paddle fell out of my kayak and got trapped under that log, and I spent a good 15 minutes fishing my paddle out from underneath that log. But this was a wild spot right here. This this was a really close one for me. Um, but it was still, it was still such a good time. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I truly did enjoy it in the moment scary. Right afterwards, it was just fun. So anyway, let's keep going.
So shortly after that little spot there where I almost capsized, uh, another paddler came up behind me, and he was coming along, and I was like, "Hey, hey, hey! You know, don't try to don't try to shoot this. Don't try to go through this. Just pull off here. Let me help you." So I helped him. We drug his kayak over. And I stayed there for a minute. Well, he heard me videotaping, and he called out, and this is him right here. Now, this is the kind of stuff you run into at a, at a you know, gathering like Rockadoc, because he was a, he was another person attending the uh, the festival. Never met him before in my life. He went a little further upstream. I wound up catching up, and he come across him. He's just sitting on this log, and um, so he's going to give me a a hand getting over this log. Like I said, never met the guy before. I honestly, I don't remember his name, which I feel horrible about because uh, it was just really cool coming across another person. He was on his, you know, doing his solo trip and uh, we just kind of, you know, teamed up for these two, you know, issues that we came across and here he is helping me lift my kayak up over this log and, uh, you know, it, it just it just solidifies how this community is willing to be there for each other. This was really cool. And then we both went about, went about our ways on down the creek, and I don't think I saw him again after that. There was 250-something people there. So anyway, it was really cool. There's a pretty cool low, low hanging tree with a lot of logs packed up against it too. Right, let's see if we can shoot this. There it goes. This may be my first portage coming up. We'll see though. I mean, if there's, <laughs> if there's a way that I can bust through it with some speed, I will. But uh, it, looks, it looks like it might be passable. I, I don't think I might have to get out. I haven't had to get out yet. Knock on wood. It's been a fairly easy paddle, you know, honestly. And I've been in some tough stuff. Uh, you know, check out my three-part video of the 
Pine Log Creek, Choctahatchee, Choctahatchee Bay, Intercoastal Waterway. I went through some pretty crazy stuff on that in part one. Uh, the Wasissa River video, the slave canal that uh, Holly and I went through. That was crazy. This doesn't look too bad though. Let's check it out. Here we go. I'm going to do it laid back. I'm going to do it with my feet up. Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy. <clears throat> oh, here's another washout. I love these little things. This is one of my favorite things about this about this creek. Are these little washout gullies. I mean I can almost paddle up into this one. Hold on. Oh, going against the flow. Come on, let's take a ride up here. See how far I can get without running aground. This is narrow, narrow and it's limestone on either side. Well, I'd say this is the end of the line as far as paddling goes. This is a little tight little, little channel right here around this tree. feet up. Oh, 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 oh. Get back here. There you go. Go that way. That's the stuff that I like. I like I like things in the way and really having to work to get through. This is kayaking. I mean, there's whitewater kayaking, yes, and that's probably amazing, you know. That's probably uh, what are you doing? There we go. I'm gonna have to hold the camera for this one. I, I've never been whitewater kayaking. I've been whitewater rafting, and that was fun. That was a rush and a half. So I can only imagine what whitewater kayaking would be like. That sounds like a lot of fun to me too. There's really nowhere around here to do that, nor do I have really the boat suitable suitable for that. But these are just fun. I mean, these are just fun little floats. You know, we got some more obstacles coming up. We'll point this thing back around. What have we got here? Oh, it's just an eddy. Ooh, turbulent, turbulent. Let's get out of this. Back it up, back it up. Danger Will Robinson. <laughs> the river runs right into the wall here. And I'm going against the flow. <laughs> All right. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Making headway. Spin back around and look at that from a distance. You can see the current runs right into that wall. And I definitely got caught in it. That was, that was, that was the, the fastest I've seen this, this thing go yet. And it pushed you right into that wall, though. I'm just laid back. I'm seriously, I've got my feet up on the, on the deck of this thing. 
this really is a nice kayak for these for this kind of a trip you know I'm liking it like I said this is my eldest daughter's kayak Hannah <laughs> you got a good boat sweetie oh, let's get over this log There we go. All right, let's get a move on. Nothing to it. All right, so uh, <laughs> all the cameras, batteries are dead. Um, why don't you have extra? Well, I did for the Olympus, but my dog got a hold of them. He got a hold of my whole camera bag once and uh, chewed up the bag um, and chewed up one of the extra batteries. Now, he didn't really chew it up, but there were some teeth marks on it, and I wasn't about to try to use it in my camera. Um, you can see me swatting too. The mosquitoes are pretty bad right here. But, so this whole trip is called Double Bridges Creek. And here is the second bridge. So I'm real close to the, uh, the junction of Double Bridges Creek and the Choctahatchee River, which means I'm real close to being done with this guy here. And this has been absolutely amazing. I've almost swamped myself. Hey, get off me. Dragonfly's doing the nasty on my leg. I've almost swamped myself. I've almost lost my paddle. I've just, I've, I've, I've done, oh, sorry. I'm trying to paddle and fill myself with my phone at the same time. And it's just been absolutely gorgeous the whole time too, so. We're about to wrap this one up though. I'll see you at the landing. <laughs>